Hello, this is Dr. Santora, the Director of Elementary Education for the North Penn School District. This presentation will assist parents and guardians with an understanding of the new elementary progress reports being implemented this school year. This tool will walk you through the changes made to the elementary progress report for the indicators under characteristics of a successful learner, as well as the new academic indicators. This presentation will focus specifically on our English language arts progress reporting and our mathematics progress reporting. As we take a closer look at the new progress report, please know that this new report was researched and developed during last school year with a committee of various stakeholders. Beginning this year, teachers will use three indicators to report on the characteristics of a successful learner. Each trimester, teachers will determine, based on this key, how students are demonstrating grade level expectations for the various learning behaviors indicated in North Penn's characteristics of a successful learner. Teachers will make these determinations based on a combination of evidence, such as daily work habits, classroom observations, and interactions with peers. Teachers will also take into account what is developmentally appropriate for that particular grade level of the child. The three indicators listed above are meeting expectations, approaching expectations, and beginning expectations. The characteristics of a successful learner The characteristics of a successful learner are broken down into self-directed learner, quality producer, collaborative worker, and respectful citizen. Please take note that under quality producer, we added another indicator using technology tools and software productively. As a result, with the increasing use of technology in all of our classrooms, we want to ensure that students are responsible citizens with use of technology. Student academic performance will be reported out based on the above performance indicators. An indicator of a 4 exceeding the standards tells parents that students are exceeding the grade level expectation for that grade level standard on a consistent basis at this particular time. Teachers will collect a variety of evidence that will demonstrate a student's consistent ability to exceed. Receiving a 3 or meets indicates that the student is mastering the grade level standard at that particular time as demonstrated through a variety of evidence. Receiving a 2 or approaching tells parents that the student is approaching mastery of the standard but needs more time to practice and to fully master that particular standard. Receiving a 1 or beginning tells parents that at this particular time the student's performance shows limited evidence of progress toward mastery of the standard. More reteaching, practice, or intervention may be needed to support the student so mastery can be achieved. The next few slides will detail the specific standards that are being assessed for all grades in K-6 in English Language Arts. This means that all students in grades K-6 will be assessed in the four areas listed above. Foundational skills, reading informational text and literature, writing, and speaking and listening. Within each of these standards are specific skills and content per grade level that each student must master by the end of the year. While the standards are the same across K-6 and ELA, the skills and concepts increase in complexity as the students go from grade level to grade level. For the purpose of this presentation, we'll take a look at a grade 3 progress report. And as you can see here, the standards listed under foundational skills are the following. Knows and applies grade level phonics and word analysis skills when decoding words. Reads on text accurately to support comprehension. Reads on level text fluently with an appropriate rate and expression to support comprehension. For reading informational text and literature, the standards that will be assessed, recognizing story elements in literature and text structure and nonfiction, explain points of view of the author, compares and contrasts various aspects of text, acquires and applies new vocabulary on responding to text, and reads and comprehends independently. Under the area of writing, we have quite a few standards that will be assessed this year, but not specifically during each of the trimesters. But 
throughout the year, the expectation is that students will have the opportunity to master those that are listed here. And lastly, in listening and speaking, we can see the standards that will be assessed in third grade, demonstrating active listening in group discussions, engaging effectively in collaborative conversations, building on others' ideas and express his own ideas clearly, and lastly, clearly expresses ideas in a variety of settings. Next, we will move on to mathematics. And in mathematics, once again, students will be assessed in the following areas consistently throughout the elementary years. And those areas are numbers and operations, algebraic concepts, geometry, measurement data and probability, and standards of mathematical progress. Using grade three again as an example, we will look at numbers and operations. And as you can see, there are two standards specifically that will be assessed this year. Applying place value, understanding and properties of operations to perform multi-digit arithmetic, exploring and developing an understanding of fractions as numbers. Under algebraic concepts, the following three standards will be assessed. Solving problems using the four operations, identify and explaining patterns in arithmetic understands property of multiplication and the relationship between multiplication and division, and lastly, multiplies and divides within 100 with fluency. In third grade for geometry, students will be assessed on the following standard of identifying, comparing, and classifying shapes and their attributes. Under measurement, data, and probability, as you can see listed here, the standards where students will be assessed. Solving problems involving measurement and estimation of liquid volume, mass, and length. Tells and writes time to the nearest minute. Solves problems by calculating time intervals. Solves problems and makes change involving money using coins and bills. Represents and interprets data using tally charts, tables, pictographs, line plots, and bar graphs. And lastly, uses multiplication and addition to determine the area of a rectangle. And lastly, students will be assessed under the following area of standards of mathematical practice, and in particular with the example using the grade three progress report, the following standards will be assessed. Applies knowledge of math concepts to make sense of problems and perseveres in solving them. Provides a clear and correct explanation that tells how and why in math problems. Also of note on the progress report, you will notice that there is an X next to some of the standards. The X on the progress report means that the teacher has not formally assessed the student in that standard at this time. Please keep in mind that the X doesn't necessarily mean the teacher hasn't taught the standard. Teachers have the ability to open the X at any marking period if they have formally assessed that particular standard. All elementary progress reports will be posted to the district website for your review. They can be located under the Four Families tab under Elementary Progress Reports. Please don't hesitate to reach out to your child's teacher or principal should you have any further questions.